Lomax with the Evil 80 Lore 9 car hauler. We call it also the bottom loader as you can load the rear of the cab from the bottom deck with this setup. The Western Star itself is loaded like every Lomax. You have Maxima, LED headlights, fog lights, stainless steel grill. Each one of those little bars can be individually changed if you need to. We have the uh, rock deflector over our fenders, sitting on Continental 295-60 low pros. And then on the interior, we have our usual owner operator finishes. So leather heated seats with the Western style logo embroidered. You got your cherry wood steering wheel. All your controls right over here. Sorry for the radio. Because our trucks are lowered from the factory and built to be carless at the factory, we have those beautiful finishes on the roof with only 102 inches to the top of the roof. So the way Western Star does it is they lower the frame rails over the axle and then the frame over, uh, pardon me, and then the cap over the frame rails, uh, including engine and everything. So we're the only manufacturer to do that. Diamond tuck leather everywhere, this specific unit, has two doors, auxiliary HVAC, and then of course, the legendary room of the Western Star, of a 24 inches between the seats, and about 16 inches between the bunk and the base of the passenger seat. We could fit the RV fridge here fairly easily. And this is the largest cab in the industry on our 54 inch, which is considered our medium sized sleeper. Okay, on the other side, let's keep going to the outside. 120 gallon tanks on the driver's side. We have a split 80-30 on the passenger side. And then the very distinctive look of the lower Evo 80 head rack and trailer. So first thing you notice is it's got curves everywhere, right? And the reason it's got curves everywhere is because we don't use very much tube steel. Tube steel is heavy and inexpensive. And it has the bad habit of trapping moisture on the inside, which causes rusts and all sorts of issues, especially if you're in a harsh environment. And then on the lower, you also see on the front here, we have our galvanized steel decks, extension arms, extendable decks, the reason we do use galvanized steel, same, it's a little bit more expensive, but it makes total sense. You don't have to slip plate them ever, and they won't rust. So the inner tube and the outer tube won't scratch to bare metal, or it will eventually, but it takes a while. There's about two millimeter of galvanized there. So it'll take many, many years before that happens. And it prevents rust from setting in and you don't have to slip plate them ever. Another nice feature of the lore is everything is bolt-on and modular. So for instance, this lifting arm right here, you don't need to take a welder. You don't need to weld this off, put a new one, weld a new one in, and then paint it. Um, we can change those very, very fast just with a normal set of tools. Uh, so the key is to be able to send you those next day so we can limit your downtime. That's the whole idea behind modular parts and the galvanized steel. Keep you on the road, keep you moving cars. Uh, we have a dedication here at TransWest to make sure that we get you parts really, really fast next day, whenever we can. Now, the welding quality is second to none on those units. Sorry, it's a little dirty, it's been raining here. Uh, things you rarely see, we have the bullet lights on this specific unit. Here is one of our automatic ratchets over here. As you can see, there is a bolt right in the middle. So you can uh, just uh, bolt it off, slide a new one in, and you're done if you need to change anything. And because it's galvanized, it won't rust. It'll stay nice and smooth. Uh, the rear deck on our equipment is really long. So we have about 200 inches from the back of the cab 
to the end of those uh, extensions there. Uh, so these are structural. Govan is still as well, so no rust there. Um, that's about uh, 15 more inches more than the competitors. Um, so you can virtually load very anything behind there. Uh, this one went with the cambered head rack. Modular drop pockets. So each one of those drop pockets can be moved to wherever you need them. I'll show you on the, the deck number five. We'll look at it from above, it'll make more sense. And then beautiful lightning. We have those light bars all over the trailer. These are angled towards the ground. So you can see where your wheels are in the dark. Uh, avoid damage, avoid hitting curbs unintentionally. Uh, here you'll see another example of uh, the lower craftsmanship. So everything here has been double checked. In effect, it has been triple checked. So the blue line and the red line here, uh, these are techs checking for torques on those bolts. Uh, so it's uh, checked by two different guys. And then there's a third guy who comes in and makes sure that nothing's been forgotten. So he goes over every one of those and makes sure that we have our little checks and balances here. Um, over here you can see uh, that we don't use tube steel, everything is welded and that's how we're able to get a lighter weight even though we use very little aluminum. Your entire fifth rail stinger is galvanized steel and then this extension here will extend out, rest on this deck which you can lift up so you'll have a beautiful flat surface to load cars to take them from here to there. Uh, same here, you can see the uh, quality, the thickness of our steel. Uh, this is a really, really tough trailer. Uh, there's very little places, uh, little areas for water to be uh, trapped into, so it reduces rust, which is a big deal on most car haulers, especially if you're running the northeast. Uh, two massive double frames over here. This is probably the only use of tube steel that we have is that. And then massive lifting arms and cylinders. Again, you'll see that here everything is cut to the shape of the wheel well. It's a lot of uh, craftsmanship, a lot of hands-on, but you get a better product in the end. Here's our truck package right here. Uh, very classic with most of the car hauler builders will include this. Uh, as an option and then over here you have the modular pockets seen from the top so each one of those pockets can be moved wherever you want it to be moved and then you can hook into those to secure your car so the way we load these guys we load them a little bit different than most we like to back load them as much as possible and take full advantage of your six foot allowance for the overhang this means that if you had a pickup truck over here, you wouldn't put it into the wheels, the, the hole between the wheel wells. You put it right there, right behind. So you'd lift this deck so you can clear the spoiler and then you have it right in that point. So everything's loaded backwards. This takes a lot of weight off your drive axles on your truck, which are usually buried. Uh, in our case, it will allow us uh, to take some weight off because of counterbalancing and then fit some nice and heavy vehicles on the tractor. Uh, this specific unit has the strobe lights, governor still everywhere, real easy system uh, to remove the skid plates. Uh, basically you just kick this and then it'll come down. Sorry of course on the video I'm doing this and it doesn't work right, right here. Sorry about that, my hand was in front of it. But kick this, it'll come down and then you can roll down your plates and then just right back on. Uh, simple transition. This one has the tire inflation system. So there's a little bit of slip plating. So anywhere where the galvanized steel is going to meet the painted steel, you'll need some slip plating. But as you can see, it's very limited. And uh, more importantly, it does not happen here, right? Everybody's run into that problem. Water gets in here drifts down all the way there, rusts everything from the inside. Eventually, after two years or three years, you gotta take this whole thing apart, 
welded off on most of our competitors. Clean out all the rust chips in it and then put it back so you can have full motion of that deck. Not a problem with us. And we don't have to cut anything. All right, so um, that's a quick overview of this trailer. Um, it is available if you're interested in getting quotes. Uh, you can call us at Transwest at 303 301 7400 and ask for Alex or Happy in the car hauler division. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.